Hi and welcome back to another episode in MotoGP Mech. Now at this stage the whole world knows that Jack Miller has unfortunately got COVID and you know he is in a massive race to get back in time for the first test. You know I think he's two weeks I think we're just about two weeks now out from the first test in in Malaysia and you know it's going to be a very tight timeline in getting him there and on the bike in time so you know there's a lot of stress and pressure on right now in Ducati and um, they've also moved the team presentation date till the 7th of February which is actually after the first test comes out so I don't know a if Jack is going to get there in time or B are they just going to run a black livery just a testing livery uh, for that and then do the official team presentation when Jack is there the 7th of February gives me kind of an indication that it is possible that Jack is going to miss the first test, which is really, really, in my opinion, not ideal. Uh, obviously, look, there is nothing they can do about it. Um, you know, restrictions are restrictions. And if you can't fly until you're recovered, then, you know, um, that's what it's going to be. You know, um, it is something, Sean, it, it is terrible for Jack because, you know, one of the things that I said in my previous episodes is that 2022 is a big year for Jack because there is a lot of up and coming people that want that factory seat. So Ducati have come out and said, look, we need to help Jack, especially with his rear tire wear. You know, as soon as that starts to drop, Jack automatically loses pace. So it's something that Ducati are aware of and they want to help Jack, which is amazing. So it really shows that Ducati are really behind him. I do really think he needs to be very consistent and he needs to be fighting at the front end in 2022 to keep that seat. I think Jorge Martin coming up. He will find consistency this year, you know, he did it at the end of last year. So I do think he is a big threat for Jack. Also, look, there is the, the Fabio Quattararo factor. You know, if he does leave Yamaha, you know, where is he going to go? I don't think he's going to go to Honda. I think I actually really do think that that's uh, belted in for um, Mir to go to. Um, so Ducati is only looking like his only option or stay with Yamaha. I do think Ducati will pay for Quattuaro, maybe not the 20 million, but I do think they would pay to have him. You know, there's a lot of financial oomph there and backing from Audi. Audi are very keen to win. Uh, so I do think it's it's definitely a threat for Jack. But if Jack is performing, the team absolutely love him. So I don't see any reason why they wouldn't keep him as long as he's consistently performing and, you know, he's showing the improvement that is needed to compete with Peko especially. But look, let's have a chat about it. Love to hear your opinions. And uh, yeah, see you again in the next one. I hope you liked today's video. And if you want to see my face, there is two conditions. Either I get to 5,000 subscribers or else I get to host on Keith Ewan's Crash.net podcast. So let's make it happen. If you want to see my face, thank you for watching. Until the next video, back out.